What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM and a flash review and I uh, just wanted to say to my regular viewers I'm not zoomed in, this is a Galaxy Tab I know I'm jumping on the ship a little late but I had a chance to pick one up and I did and I'm pleased to say that we will now be supporting this device in terms of mods, ROMs, uh, reviews and all kinds of other stuff so be sure to stay tuned and all you new Galaxy Tab viewers thanks for checking us out, be sure to subscribe for content that will be updating on a weekly basis. We'll have lots of new videos for the tab and uh, more things like that. So this is a ROM and a review, I mean a ROM and a flash review and what basically what this is for you tab viewers that are watching for the first time is I like to, uh, to talk about all the top ROMs in your particular community and review them. So this is Overcome 1.2.0 and uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. Now, off the bat, obviously we get the Samsung boot screen and um, go into a little more detail about the boot screens. I'm probably going to be developing a package for this as well. Um, I actually am um, I'm well known for creating uh, the boot screen packages for all the Galaxy S variants. If for some reason you have a Vibrant or Captivate, I do to uh, develop boot screen packages for those and a lot of other videos, so be sure to check us out. Um, now, I'm not going to have a screen for the kernel right here, and that's for good reason, and I'll tell you why a little bit later as I show you a slight surprise at the end of this. So my kernel screen's non-existent, that's why we got a black screen with a small uh, line at the top. This is actually very tricky to film the tab, I'm finding out. Um, but when it does exit the kernel screen, I'll show you the uh, cool boot animation that does come with this ROM. Obviously it's got boot animation, not zip support. I'll be showing you guys a video for that as well on how to change that out. Uh, I'll be working on a thread for the Galaxy Tab to make sure that the videos I can port over. Alright, so it's off and it's on. And uh, the ROM's up. I missed the boot animation dot zip, but there it is. Um, so if we unlock, um, we can obviously see the stock sand um, as the background, we've got the three icon dock at the bottom with full landscape support. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set this up in my uh, stand here. It'll be a little easier to film in landscape. So obviously everything nice and snappy, really smooth. Uh, if we wanted to go in and take a look at the about phone settings, we can see what we're running here. Uh, we're running the 1.2.0 build number for Overcome. and. Um, the kernel version is the 45th rendition uh, from Frank at Overcome, and uh, it's the kernel that's been offered with this ROM. Um, obviously, our model number, uh, then some changes in there, but obviously, by the stock, it's the same model number. Uh, right now, we're rocking a different model number. Baseband is unknown. This ROM is packaged without a uh, without a modem, and uh, basically, it lets you choose your own modem. And if you already had one, then that's what you're going to end up with, anyways. Um, in addition to all this, it's a JMI base ROM. Uh, as I mentioned, no modem is included. It's a fully deodexed and zip aligned framework. Uh, so all the applications in the system directory have installed one app on here and it's uh, root explorer. So all these applications in the system directory for apps, <coughs> there's no odex files. So everything is nice and fresh, easily moddable. Um, if you don't know what that means, check out Deodext under Google's standard search engine. It's really cool. Basically, uh, instead of having Odex files and pre-booting a lot of the applications, you boot them all from one location, and that provides you uh, the enhanced moddability for future use. Um, anyhow, it's got the uh, GPS fix. GPS works very well. Uh, we're indoors right now, but I get a fix very well. Um, <coughs> no need to show you Google Maps or anything like that. In addition to all this, we've got extended power controls, so we can easily get to reboot, recovery, or download mode. Uh, now, this is a GSM ROM, um, so be sure that, uh, you know, you, if you're going to flash it, it is GSM recommended. We'll talk more about this in just a moment, though. Um, up top, we've got some pretty cool uh, battery um, icon there as well. It's the circle icon mod there. Uh, Wi-Fi locks very well. Uh, notifications are themed, so our notification bar is nicely got a glass pane look to it right there, as you can see straight through to the home screen there. Um, everything up top is the same. There's no changes to the buttons there. A um, couple other things to uh, mention is there is an app widget picker that's been added to the system. The system fonts have been replaced with the Armani fonts. So you'll notice that some of the fonts are a little bit different. So you can see there uh, a lot of the fonts are actually not the same as what you would expect for your typical tab. 
Um, all the Google apps have been updated. Ads have been blocked through an advanced change in the host file. Let me wake my screen back up there. And uh, the swipe keyboard's been fixed to show full screen. So no startup or shutdown animations. And uh, that animation that you missed in the beginning is the zoom boot animation. So it's really cool. <coughs> Pardon my cough. I am a little sick still. Um, if you want to check out the system apps that have been removed from this, you can check that out at the thread in the description below. And you can learn more about that as well as a lot of the kernel features uh, such as the available overclocking. It supports multiple uh, file system types such as RFS, EXT2, 3, and 4. And uh, there's a lot of things that you can change there. The hertz value has been changed for smoothness, probably running at 500 hertz. And um, a lot of other patches as well. You can find all that in the description below. Now, I'll show you the boot off animation um, as well. So we'll show you that here. Uh, if we wanted to power off, the one thing I don't care for really is the device will not shut down. I know it's shutting down. I picked it. But uh, anyways, we'll power off and we'll get the cool Samsung uh, power off screen. All right, now time for my small surprise. It's really not that big of a deal, but it's a popular question. I actually made a thread about it and um, wanted to show you guys as soon as the phone powers off, we're off. This is running on dun, 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 a Verizon tab. This is a GSM ROM running on a Verizon tab. Now stay tuned if you're new to this and you're new to tabs or you've been around the tab game for a while and you've had a Verizon tab and you're sad about all the development getting thrown at the GSM ROMs, uh, Koosh, actually, I mean, uh, sorry, Boosh or whatever his name is, actually made a pretty decent uh, Verizon ROM, but guess what? We have access to GSM ROMs now as well. I'll be throwing up a video on the exact steps that you should take to avoid soft bricks and uh, to make this really easy on yourself for future use. Um, so you can run a GSM ROM on your tab from Verizon or possibly even Sprint. I don't have a Sprint tab to test on. But I'll be throwing up a lot of documentation on how to make your market work correctly, how to make some of the enhancements to make sure that the GSM ROM runs correctly on a Verizon tab. So this is a big deal to me, and I hope it is to a bunch of you. So that's ROMs in a Flash for Samsung Tab, first episode ever, and that was Overcome 1.2.0. It's a great ROM, awesome developer. Check it out. Be sure to download, and be sure to consider donating to your developer. You can donate in the description below as well. If you appreciate the videos that we put out and that we will be putting out for the tab, be sure to uh, maybe consider donating to us as well. There's a link in the description below as well for that. So uh, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to subscribe if you have any questions uh, or any uh, comments. Leave them in the this comment section below. And uh, I appreciate you for viewing, and I hope to have you as a subscriber. And thanks for watching, guys. If you're ready to flash this ROM, good luck and go for it.